For these questions, we're going to solve each multiplication problem and then represent it with a strip diagram. And a strip diagram is just a model for showing the relationship between the parts of an equation and the whole the parts make. So let's look at this a little closely. We haven't done strip diagrams with multiplication. Let's think about what multiplication is. Multiplication is the same thing as addition, it's just adding multiple times. So number one, we have 14 times two, that means we have two parts, a 14 and another 14. The whole would be the combination of those two 14s together. So if we were to draw it as a strip diagram, the first thing we want to do is solve the equation. So it's 28. So we could do our strips just like we've always done. And the whole is going to be 28. But our parts, we're going to have two parts. And each part is going to be 14. So that's how you would represent 14 times 2 with a strip diagram. Let's try number 2. This time we have 12 times 5. So first let's solve it. And we find that the product is 60. So I'm going to draw my strips. And the whole is going to be 60. But when I think about 12 times 5, I'm going to be repeatedly adding 12 five times. So I'm going to have to do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. That means I need to break my top strip into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And each part is going to be 12. So this strip diagram now represents 12 times 5. So let's look at the next one. This time we have 28 times 3. So let's solve it first. Get 84. So we're going to make our two strips. And the whole is going to be 84, because that's what the different parts represent. So 28 times 3 means repeatedly adding 28 three times. 28 plus 28 plus 28. So in our strip diagram, we need three parts. And each of those parts is going to be 28. So this strip diagram will show 28 times 3 equals 84. So you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.